My name is Caitlin. Knowing that you will be in space for six months, can you email your wife Cindy and your two daughters often? Over. Uh, yes, we can. We can email every day. We uh, exchange email with the ground three times a day. Over. My name is Jared. On a spacewalk, are you hooked to the ISS? If not, how will you get back if you float it away? Over. Jared, yes, we're connected with a wire, a very small wire that goes out on a reel, sort of like a fishing uh, reel. That connects us. However, if it were to break, we have a jet pack uh, that we could use that uses compressed nitrogen and we would fly back to the station. Over. My name is Kara. With the technology on the ISS, can you have information about natural disasters like hurricanes? Over. I uh, can, yes we can, but we do it so with pretty simple instruments, our uh, eyes and our cameras, over. My name is Tara. Does one person always have to be awake aboard the ISS? Over. Fortunately, no. There are only two of us on board right now, and we awake at the same time and we go to sleep at the same time. We depend on the ground and the computers to watch the space station while we're asleep, over. My name is Marissa. Do you ever run into space debris or comets on the ISS? Over. Uh, Marissa, we've never run into comets, although perhaps we run into pieces of comets. We do occasionally collide with very small pieces of dust. That causes minor damage to the space station, but nothing serious. Over. My name is Anna Lynn. Last week we made ecosystems with fish. Could they live on the ISS? Over. Anna Lynn, if you have the right ecosystem, yes, they could live on the ISS. Uh, uh, not on the space station, but on the shuttle, we have carried fish before, over. My name is Alex. Does the ISS run only on solar power? Over. Alex, you're absolutely correct. The sun is our sole source of power. When we're in darkness, we have batteries on board that have accumulated power from our solar arrays, and we use electricity from them, over. My name is Alicia. Will you celebrate any of the holidays aboard the ISS? Over. Alicia, we've already celebrated Thanksgiving. We will celebrate our Christmas, uh, the, uh, United Christmas for the United States, this coming Sunday. We will also go on New Year's Day a week later. And then from the 6th to the 7th of January, we will observe Orthodox Russian Christmas. Over. My name is Caitlin. You have been in space three times before. What does it feel like when you come back from space? Over. Caitlin, uh, you feel a little bit weak and often very, very dizzy when you first come back from space. Uh, but those exercise and rest, you quickly return to normal. Over. My name is Megan. Is it hard for you to go on a spacewalk? Over. Uh, Megan, spacewalks are very physically demanding, and they take a lot of work to get prepared, and then they take uh, uh, they take a lot of strength and endurance to perform them. Over. My name is Jordan. Would the grass we grow in our terrarium grow on the ISS? Over. Jordan, if you provide the right conditions, it probably would. We would have to provide nutrients and sunlight. Over. My name is Amanda. You wear glasses. Does space affect them like fogging up? Over. Amanda, yes, it does sometimes. So, uh, my glasses get oil from my skin a little more quickly than on the Earth. And if my face is wet, they do fog up because we don't have the same breezes uh, to keep them clear over. My name is Jenny. How much time do you have to do research aboard the ISS? Over. Well, unfortunately, we don't have as much time as we'd like, but we can generally do two to four hours of research a day. Over. My name is Matthew. How long do you have to work out each day to stay healthy? <coughs> over. Uh, Matthew, we work out. Two and a half hours every day, over. My name is Velvine. What do you like to do with your free time on the ISS? Over. Uh, Velvine, we like to look at the earth through the windows and talk on the radio with folks just like you, over. Okay, come stay group goodbye. Okay. Thank, Thank you! you.